Let's talk about you. You said recently, I actually thank God for my addiction to pain pills because I learned more about myself in rehab than I would have ever learned otherwise. What did you learn from drug rehab? Um, one, of the, one of the things that I had always had trouble with in my life was trying to be what other people expected me to be or wanted me to be in my personal life because I wanted to be liked. You know, everybody's raised to want to be liked and to want to be loved. Nobody wants to grow up being hated. Now, interestingly, my radio career, I don't care. You know, I, I figured that out. Uh, it was a tough thing, Chris, to learn to take as a measure of success being hated, you know, by 20 or 30 percent of the country. I mean, that's because nobody's raised for that. But in my personal life, um, I, what I, the thing I learned most was that the only way to have real intimacy with people, real solid relationships, is to be who you are. That will attract the kind of people worthy of having intimate relationships and, with, and good without, friendships with. And without putting you on the couch, are you saying that the addiction came from some sense of personal inadequacy? Of course. Yeah, uh, it, it wasn't good enough. I was masking unhappiness elsewhere, uh, not dealing with the real reasons I was unhappy uh, in, in my personal life. I had, I had never experienced the kind of euphoria that I got from a pain pill. I think the, the only time that I really, with all the success I've had, the only time I've had that kind of euphoria is when I made the high school football team as a sophomore. I was never prouder of myself, but all my career achievements did not create that for me because it's you got to maintain it every day. It's not something you earn and then it lasts forever. And I don't look back. I don't stop and think about what I've accomplished because there's always tomorrow. Uh, so I don't have time for the euphoria. I don't have time for the, man, am I something. I, it's, I'm too busy trying to meet everybody's expectations tomorrow. So the pain pills came along and they masked all these feelings of uh, inadequacy that I had. Now, after just seven weeks of this place in Arizona, uh, I have zero feelings of inadequacy. And it's not been replaced by uh, uh, an irresponsible ego. It's just a confidence in who I am.